We've known about Zika virus from as far back as 1947 when it was first isolated. And then in the 50s there was some basic research done on Zika virus, but it was considered more of a curiosity for a very long time because it was not associated with these large outbreaks of individuals that were infected with the virus. So when this outbreak started and when we started seeing these adverse outcomes with pregnancy there's been a scramble to try to figure out some basic biology about this virus that no one had been studying for over 50 years. The time when we have the greatest opportunity to intervene against an emerging infectious disease is right away before it gets entrenched within communities and within populations. And so when we know nearly nothing about a virus, as is the case of Zika virus, it's essential that we try to learn as much as we can, as quickly as we can, so that we can identify the most vulnerable populations, we can identify uh, what sort of interventions are most likely to work, and we can learn how the virus behaves so that we can try to take steps to slow its spread. And doing all of those things as quickly as possible is essential because if we wait, we're just letting the virus continue to spread and continue to become entrenched.